Hello, mentees and mentors. I'm Andrew Schaumburg on behalf of the organizing committee of the Joint Mentoring Program for Postdocs. I'd like to welcome you to our program. I think we have some very exciting programming in store uh, for you over the next several months. A little bit more about me is I am the chair of the Career Development Committee of the Postdoctoral Association of Brigham and Women's Hospital. It's one of uh, several Harvard Medical School affiliated institutions that are jointly participating in this program. You can learn more about our program at the Brigham uh, through discoverbrigham.org, our website. And you can click on uh, some of the exciting programming that we've had over the past year uh, for postdocs here. You're of course welcome to reach out to me about that. Or if you have other questions, you'd like some support uh, for whatever reason, please go to my website, schaumburg.ai. You can scan these QR codes to contact me if you have questions, and I can route you to the appropriate agent to handle your questions, or I could try to handle the questions myself. So scanning those QR codes are a good way to contact me and, and reach the website, or you can click uh, the profile link here to uh, get more information if you'd like to contact me on social media like LinkedIn or so on. So with that, um, if I linked you to this video, chances are almost 100% that I matched you personally uh, with a mentor uh, in our program. So I'm very optimistic about uh, how rewarding we will find uh, this exciting uh, mentoring and networking opportunity. And of course, I'd like to go over some ground rules first and some general housekeeping um, as we begin, and as I onboard you all uh, to our uh, program. So I'd like to convey three things. The first is respect. So everybody should be respecting one another. Uh, this should be a safe sort of academic type of environment where it's uh, a safe place to ask questions and learn and communicate uh, vulnerably uh, so we can all get um, the most out of the program. Uh, this brings me to the second point, which is I am a resource uh, for you. So uh, you should come to me if you have any questions, if you'd like to learn something, if you have something specific to ask, if you're uncomfortable for any reason, I'm, I'm here to help. All of us co-organizers are here to help. So if you ask me something, I can also route that to one of our other co-organizers. We can discuss it as a committee. That's what I've often done. Um, so please, I am a resource for you. I'm not uh, the police. You have to come to me. I won't uh, have the time to go to every one of these meetings, but uh, I'm available for you. Um, so I'd also like to say that uh, some of the things we've um, discussed already um, as a committee and with different mentees um, are a couple points. So if you'd like multiple mentors, uh, unfortunately, that's a challenge for us. Um, we have a number of mentors and you should have about uh, three give or take mentees for each circle. Some circles are larger or smaller than others, uh, depending on a number of factors. Um, but uh, generally from an equity perspective, we do not match uh, multiple mentors with a mentee. We try to treat everybody the same and we think that's fair. Um, if you want a mentee with very specific subspecialty expertise, uh, for you. Um, please bear in mind, we, we do our best to match everybody and make a best effort for that, but it may not match every specific criteria that every mentee has. So um, I'd recommend, you know, giving it a fair shot, uh, doing your best. And uh, we still think that uh, you'll find this uh, rewarding uh, and a great mentoring experience. Um, and, and my experience with mentors is that if I've had a very specific question, um, we are all part of a large community, right? We can all bring in other contacts. Um, you have a lot of resources available to you through the mentors network, the organizers network. And so we're here for you. Um, and I think you'll find uh, what you need. Uh, so the third point then is the programming. We have some very exciting programming uh, suggested for you over the past, over the next um, months. So we suggest about one meeting uh, per month. You've uh, probably read already this preparing for successful mentorship relationships, that PDF. Um, it's been attached to some of the emails you've probably already received uh, from me, for instance. Um, and I would recommend personally, not speaking on behalf of the organizing committee, but my recommendation would be to take that, to look at that, to discuss that with the mentor who is leading the mentoring circle and follow it um, as much as you like. If you have something else, you know, it's not a recipe. You're welcome to do as you like to get uh, the most you collectively want out of the program. So 
Uh, with that, uh, thank you uh, very much for your participation. We're excited uh, that you can join us and that you're uh, sharing with us your perspective and your expertise and experience and that we can all learn from each other in this program. If you'd like to contact me again, here are those QR codes. Um, and again, on behalf of the organizing committee, thank you very much for your participation in the joint mentoring program for postdocs.